right. Welcome back to Cricket for Americans. Nick here. Gabe, the Night Watchman. And Gabe and I survived the IPL auction. Gay more so than really? me. I thought I was a champion like five and a half hours. Then I wake up and he went 10 hours. I mean, that's like almost two test matches for crying out loud. This guy was on the entire time. Big, huge thanks to Aaron from Cricket Connoisseur for hooking us up and filling in for me. Oz Jot as well. Appreciate all those guys. If you want to see the long marathon stream, you can check it out on our channel. But we are here for another episode of Cricket Tuesday. Cricket Tuesday. Oh, man. Uh, Nick. I'm telling you right now, I need some Cricket Tuesday in my life because the way that uh, CSK got booty, the way CSK Ooh. got owned at the auction. They did it to themselves, did they not? Oh, it's so bad. It's so dark. Bro, it's just hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> Don't so worry. Bad. Don't worry. You weren't too excited about last mini auction, and they did pretty well. They did pretty well. But they don't got Sam Curran to save them this time. <laughs> Just kidding. But speaking of the IPL, we decided IPL theme Cricket Tuesday this week. We're checking out our friend that we have not met yet, but we're sure we're friends. Why not? Why would we not be friends? Cricket Roz. And he's got a cool video that I knew Gabe would love. And this is a video about, let me see if we get it right here, the possibility of MS Dhoni being the captain of the Mumbai Indians. I don't know if this is the inception of the IPL. I don't know if there was some point maybe with auction. I don't want to speculate. I want to watch the video and learn about it. But man, oh my gosh. Gabe would hate me even more if that was a possibility. Don't you think MS Dhoni being on CSK kind of balances the universe out a little bit of the IPL? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Gosh. And I mean, it's, it's one of those things, dude, where you think about it like, can you see, you, were, you rocking an RCB jersey right now. Could you see... Brock Coley rocking any other jersey. There's uh, there've been a, a, other guys that have gone. You know, RCB had the universe boss. He's a pretty RCB, stylish guy. I could see him look good in any color. I mean, he looked good in anything. But you know what I mean? Like, if you're yeah. the face of the franchise, it's like Derek Jeter with for the Yankees. He couldn't wear another uniform. Period. You know what I mean? You just can't do it. So that's how I feel about it. So even before I watch this video, I'm like, what could have possibly happened? What could Chennai have gone through Chennai's yeah. mind? I guess why I can't wait to, to watch it. I can't wait to watch. It, it, I, I'm sure it has something to do with money or some some something silly like that. And you're just like, I'm glad you guys got it right. I'm I'm sure they were trying to plan beforehand for the ga the gay brand in the future, ten years in the future. Once he became a fan, we'll have to watch this. Go ahead and check out Cricket Roz. He has two channels: one in English, one in I'm assuming Hindi. I don't really know actually, but in his native tongue. And check out his video. Support his channel. We love his storytelling narrations. Um, he's like the Indian Morgan Freeman, if I can say that for crying out loud. Because this guy's got a beautiful voice. And uh, we're going to check this out. You ready for this? Morgan Freeman? No, 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 no. I, I, I think, honestly. Wow. It's like, it, it's like I, I would say Ken Burns. It's like watching his videos like watching a Ken Burns documentary. You know what I mean, dude? It's just a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful but I love thing. the voice. I mean, Morgan Freeman <laughs> just... Come on. I watched this video real quick, not even related at all. Morgan Freeman was narrating this prison break that happened in 2015. And I'm like, how funny is that, that Morgan Freeman, he narrates a lot of stuff, but narrated a prison break when he's in Shawshank Redemption. It was just a crazy moment. But we're going to go ahead and check this out. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. As you see right there, the subscribe button. Go ahead and show us some love. And we are going to check point. this out. Yeah, exactly. Right now on one hand stands the most successful captain in ipl history winning three ipl trophies going to the finals of eight with a win rate Ooh, this of is before the last one point nine four percent on the other hand stands mumbai indians with five <laughs> ipl wins six finals appearances with a total win rate of 58.93 percent so close now you can imagine what could have happened if this captain captained this side oh, and it nearly happened it let's go back to the 2008 ipl auction in the first season of ipl oh, pretty IPL it had to be as a concept was an experimental <laughs> piece banking on the success of the last t20 world cup bcci hoped to make a premier league style t20 league being Genius the first idea. season though a lot many rules and guidelines were placed as a precautionary measure one of the rules was that the most famous Indian players had to represent their home franchisee. The teams would have an option of That's picking them smart. up directly 
even before the auction because wow. of this sachin had to go to mi saurav in kkr and sehwag in delhi now it makes sense on paper doesn't it it's a new Absolutely. concept people need to be invested into the game and the easiest way to achieve this just link famous players to famous teams now make that famous player a local sweetheart and it is nearly guaranteed to fill out stadiums the problem came though with the fixed price tag that was attached to such <laughs> icon players sachin and others were placed at 1.65 million nice. now there is absolutely no doubt in my mind that even without the price tag the mi management would have made sure <laughs> that sachin would play for mumbai but Absolutely. beyond the price tag each team was given a fixed capped maximum amount of 5 million dollars that they were allowed to spend on other players of the team this meant that nearly 33% of the entire budget that's only like 35 crores by one player with the rest of the team being hmm. bought with only 3.35 million now coming to dhoni who hails from jharkhand and did not have a home team hence he was not given the status of an icon and was to be put at auction the young indian captain had just brought the t20 world cup home and he was sought by nearly each and every team mumbai indian hey. management actually went on record to say that after sachin if there is one player that they want in their team it's dhoni come auction season <laughs> they were going to go all out trying to buy the young captain but standing in their way as it was to become the norm for years How to come how dare they stood chennai super kings no the state of tamil nadu and its team chennai super kings did not have an outright icon player dinesh karthik was hoping to get selected as an icon but was rejected for not having enough star attraction <laughs> come to keep my finish myself on that one in purse of 3.35 million went head to head with the 5 million untouched purse of chennai oh. they didn't have one match. icon mahendra singh dhoni had been bought by chennai at 1.5 million dollars imagine amola oh, khazi not being able to buy something because they don't have <laughs> enough money it must have been such a normal experience for them so dhoni was bought for a whopping 1.5 million the highest in that auction and the future of the two teams was set to be forever in deadlock the funny thing is just the next year ipl had to increase the maximum purse by 2 million on the Absolutely. back of repeated complaints of lack of funds by team owners imagine though what could have been if the most successful captain captained the most successful side one single rule you? which was changed a year later derailed what could have been a dynasty in the making but in a way it's good that it didn't happen because at least now we have an <laughs> assurance that. that no matter how boring ipl can get sometimes a mumbai indians versus chennai super kings match oh yes that is sure to be a mind blowing experience imagine how boring ipl could have been without it thank you for watching this video if you like this video kindly like share and subscribe thank you for watching okay i i have some very concrete comments about this okay All right but i want you to go first thoughts my friend you know here's the thing thoughts are really really simple i think that and even with what we just recently saw happen uh where right now and people keep like well gave calm down they don't got the pedigree LSG is the strongest team on paper. They got <laughs> goes. squat and they're <laughs> brand new. Does. But what I think the IPL does Nick is that they're <laughs> genius at marketing. Just being real. Think about it. You 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 got a team with Sasha and you know Segwa. You got all these other guys and you're going to have Chennai with DK, right? Dinesh Karthik. What they do is put a balanced product on that and on there. And we've seen this where even the worst team, you know, we've been watching IPL now two seasons. All right, they'll be our third season. 
even the worst team will beat the best team on any given day. All right. Every game matters. Every game's decided. And normally it comes down to the points table, right? Because the records are pretty par for the course because it's balanced. And that's what the, uh, uh, what I think they did so, 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 so geniusly, they created a pot, a product where everybody feels like they're in it, even if they're not in it. You know what I'm saying, bro? You're always one game away. All right. Yes. Mumbai and Chennai Absolutely. are typically always in there at the end, but you know, who are the other two teams that are going to get in there with them? And that is usually a, a, a recipe for a successful product, right? Um, I, man, it's, 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 I, I, I could see Mumbai Indian fans get, being salty, right? Like, oh, come on, man. We could have had either a, a Dhoni, a rule. You guys change a year later. Collusion, collusion. You know, I'm sure Evan Bacham was like, what? 1.5. Bro, I got that in my sock drawer at home. I put, I pull it out of my pocket. I pull it out of my pocket. But it has to be official. You know, it can't be no Ambani money there. You know what I'm saying, bro? I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? He's like, I got that in my sock drawer at home, man. I, I pay for it. But th- th- that was probably my favorite line. And that's what I'm saying. No joke. He, he's like, what, when Chris line. Brown's put together these videos, yeah, he's like a, it's like a, a Ken Burns documentary in, in that he's, it's a documentary, but really, he's selling you an idea, okay? And he always gets his way. And he's like, could you imagine the Ambani's not being able to buy something? <laughs> that was a perfect <laughs> line. And That was awesome. Know, it, it, it was great, man. But what are your thoughts? As a Mumbai fan, knowing you could have had Dhoni, and oh my gosh, it would have been the Patriots of the NFL as far as uh, uh, what, what this team would have accomplished. Greatest team of all time. I mean, thoughts, please. All right. So you're right. I am a Mumbai fan. And I should, should have worn my Mumbai shirt. I was so excited about this jersey. These are my thoughts right now. And it's probably going to shock you. It's going to shock a lot of people. I'm glad Mumbai didn't get Dhoni. I am. The only thing I'm mad about is that CSK got him because they're like our rivals. But if they did it, if it was a different team, that team would be our rivals, right? CSK, I'm only assuming that they have kept their core organization heads intact because they are smart. They know what they're doing. They're level-headed. They're calm. Gabe's freaking out about their lack of anything in the the first day of the auction. Look at my but, board. Look at my board back there. You know how many names I had up there? But, Don't you get me. Oh. Hey, hey, you're in timeout, pal. You're in timeout. But I know because CSK is so smart as an organization, they're going to be fine. They're going to figure it out. Um, and if they don't, then I'm going to have an enjoyable season anyway. So either way, it's fine. But let me explain something to you, Gabe. Mumbai Indians, and it's not Sashin's fault, right? But under Sashin as the icon, they didn't do anything. They didn't. And they weren't the Mumbai Indians of today in the first few seasons of the IPL. So figure this out. First of all, they would have been way tapped for no players besides Dhoni and Sachin. Okay? Because most of the money... They would have had like $2 million left, if that. Okay? But this is the thing. If they would have picked up Dhoni, then in 2011, when my man, Rohit Sharma, came off a championship-winning squad with the Deccan Chargers, would they have gone after Rohit Sharma? Maybe, but they were looking for a captain, for crying out loud. They would have already had a captain. And even if they picked up Rohit Sharma, Hasn't Rohit Sharma been a fantastic captain in the IPL? So much to the fact that where I'm salivating on the fact that how he's the international captain for India in limited format overs, at least. People are like, oh, you can't expect him to do the same thing in the IPL. Why not? This guy is like a magic maker for crying out loud, like Dhoni was or still is. If you go after MS Dhoni, you don't get a Rohit Sharma. And, and I'm sorry, but let's think about this math for a second. Five out of six for Rohit Sharma, 83%. Dhoni, four out of nine, 44%. I believe 83 is better than 44, all right? No disrespect to Dhoni, but I think that it's the best thing that would have happened for both franchises. Dhoni was able to bring his uh, leadership and everything to the CSK side. Rohit Sharma was picked up. And think about that, 2011. The first year they won the championship was the first year they had Rohit Sharma. Since then, they've won five total. I mean, come on. So that's my argument for why I'm completely fine with what happened in history. 
But it still is tempting to think about. But the biggest thing that people aren't thinking about, or maybe they're not thinking about, and I'm sure Cricket Raza thought about it, but he didn't mention it in this video, is don't expect that the Mumbai Indians would have won five championships with any captain for crying out loud. Okay. But as soon as Rohit Sharma, I mean, Rohit Sharma and Mumbai Indians goes together like peanut butter and jelly for crying out loud. It just works. And it's it's a winning combination. So those, those are my thoughts. I love the video. I love the narration. I love how it was just short and sweet and it gave us the information. Wasn't trying to add a narrative here, all this kind of stuff. It broke it down quite easily. And man, no, no offense to DK fans, but we've seen what he's been at least the last few years in the IPL. Dodged a bullet there. <laughs> We said, we said, they dodged a bullet. They dodged a bullet. Oh well, this was a great video. Thank you so much, Cricket Roz, for providing that for us. We know you can't wait for us to react to it. We know it. Thank you so much for getting us even more excited for the IPL after the auction. Please don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, to like and subscribe. Let us know what you want us to react to next on Cricket Tuesday. And until next time. Donnie! <laughs>